Hi everyone again, it is Connor here. I hope you're all having a great day. Let's do one more candle review here from the beach. I hope you guys all enjoy this view here in the background while I'm at the beach. Um, I've actually been burning some candles here. I think it was appropriate to bring some beachy type of candles. So that is what I'm gonna be reviewing today. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on Bath & Body Works sea salt and sails or i'm sorry that's what it's a dupe of the scent is called sailing in the mediterranean check definitely check out the review if you missed it but now let's go ahead and talk about a yankee candle in the signature jar so let's chat ocean air okay so i am going to be comparing these two candles throughout the video oops we just fell over here Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't do too much editing here, um, if you can tell, so I'm probably not even going to edit that out. But anyways, as I was saying, um, we're chatting Ocean Air. I am going to be doing comparisons between these two candles since they are both kind of like in that beach category. But I really enjoy this scent. This is one that I've really been loving on cold scent for a while now with Yankee and I never really pulled the trigger to buy it, but um, I believe that these medium jars were on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick one up. Um, I really love the signature jars burn. Um, the strength of the throw is much better than their original format with the paraben wax. Um, the burn is much cleaner. It's just a better candle overall. I like how it's two wicks. And I just really like these uh, signature candles. Now, um, they are a soy and paraffin blend. So it still has some of that paraffin, but I do believe that this is mainly soy, which gives it a cleaner burn and just a better burn in my opinion, because I am definitely a soy wax type of person over like a paraffin wax. So. Let's go ahead and get into the notes here on this one. So this one says it's an it's a fresh and variegating ocean air carried by white capped waves, clean sunny notes mingled with jasmine, white amber, and sandalwood. Your notes are top notes of blue ozone, linen breeze, bergamot, and lemon. Your mid notes are cotton flower, maguette white lily and fresh clover and then the base notes are sheer musk fresh vanilla and cedarwood okay so this is a really pretty scent um to me this is just so like beautiful it is different from the um sailing in the mediterranean this one still has that like oceanic air to it clearly it's called ocean air but um this one doesn't really have that sea salt to it. And I actually think that I may prefer this one even more. This is just such a pretty ocean air scent. It truly smells like I'm standing out on this deck on a nice warm summer day and I just smell that fresh ocean air. There is more of a floralness to this one than there is in the sailing in the Mediterranean. This one to me smells like a really nice like floral and ocean mixture. The floral definitely does not overtake. I feel like the floral that is in here is like a really sweet lily or like jasmine. It's definitely not like a strong floral. It's just like a nice floral in the background with that really nice fresh oceanic air. It's a really nice combination and just a beautiful scent altogether. This is definitely something that I would repurchase. I think it's so great and it's definitely something that I would want the beach to smell like, like when I get out of the car and go to the beach, this is what I want it to smell like. It just smells so wonderful and this is definitely an amazing scent that you should check out if you enjoy those like fresh airy type of scents. This is not quite laundry. I do think that it has a laundry vibe to it, but this to me doesn't smell like full on laundry. This smells like maybe a laundry detergent that is like a scent based off the beach, but this doesn't to me smell like pure cotton. I do think that there's some cotton in here, but it's not a cotton scent, if you know what I mean. So that's my thoughts on the scent. All right, so let's go ahead and do our little performance chat and give you guys a overhead view of it. All right, so here is our burn. As you can see, 
This is not tunneling, but I did just light it up a few minutes ago, so it's still trying to pull out there. But really nice clean burn. There is definitely no soot on the rim here, no murkiness or anything like that in the wax. It's just a really nice clean burn. Um, oh, something is not right here. Let's fix that. This tripod, I probably need to get a new tripod because this one is just not the best. Um, there we go. Sorry about the hands in the video. <laughs> um, okay, so really nice clean burn. As you can see, we got a nice pool here. It's still trying to do it on the pool, pool on the edges a little bit, but it's definitely not got like a tunneling issue to it. Really nice clean burn, no soot or discoloration or anything like that. It's just got that really nice burn that you normally would see from a soy candle. And I'm just really impressed with these Yankee Candle Signature Candles. I'm always really um, satisfied with them when I do burn them. If you know me and Yankee, I've had a little bit of like trouble in the past just because I don't love their original jars too much. I'm just not a big paraffin fan in any type of candle brand. So steered away from the paraffin, but I do really enjoy this um, soy that they use here in the Signature Blend. I feel like it is just such a really nice burn and such an improvement from what they had in the past. The string to throw is better. It's not quite where I would want it for, to be for these Yankees. It's definitely better and I think you kind of just have to choose the right scent. So what I mean by that, like this is a lighter type of scent so I wasn't expecting to get like a massive strength and throw. The, the strength and throw on this one is probably like a medium, um, probably around somewhere in the middle, like a five, five. Yeah, I'll just put it at five. I'm not trying to like say five to six, but no, I feel like this is a five. Um, I can smell it right here while I'm burning, but it is definitely a lighter scent and something that I would maybe gear you towards burning in a bedroom or a bathroom or just a smaller room. I think it's best suited for that. Now, if you tried it in the three wick, it would probably have better strength than throw, which I probably would pick this up in the three wick since I just think this is such a good scent. But um yeah for what it's in right here it's not the most strength and throw but i am burning a lot of other candles so they're kind of helping to pull or pull the scent out of this one a little bit more but overall i do think that this is a really nice burn okay strength and throw it doesn't always have to be crazy and the um scent is really nice so definitely really happy with this candle and i would definitely suggest it so Thank you guys so much for watching both of these reviews from today. I hope you enjoyed the beach views here. And um, yeah, I will be actually doing a few other candle reviews. <sighs> there goes that bird again. <laughs> um, he's like, shut up, Connor. But um, I will be doing some more candle reviews later this week. So definitely be on the lookout for those because I do have a few Kringle candles that I want to film reviews of that I brought here, including some newer ones from this spring. So be on the lookout for later this week on those reviews. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Turn on that notification bell. Comment with thoughts or questions. And I I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.